all three of you to join us and hopefully for our debates as well. Discussing what we are covering today is uh, Zika virus. And because we have a server, so you know this entire session will be held in English. Yay. Okay, so Zika virus, you all have one copy of your handouts, right? So we, have, we will be discussing this. This is about health and environment a bit, and about health and hazardous and the epidemic, the epidemic. So Zika virus, you know, everybody should know about this, right? Do you know, do you know this? Zika virus, what will, what will it do to you? It will not harm men, of course, but only pregnant women and the baby. So, Zika virus. So we are going to discuss one of the article, which is originally from one of the magazines, which is in your handouts. So, so let's start with some keywords and phrases, and then we are going to discuss the, uh, the article. First keyword is ground zero. Okay, everybody repeat after me. This is like more like French language. Uh, ground zero, everyone. From zero. zero. Debilitate, de debilitating. Disease. The World Health Organization. The World Health Organization. Virus. Virus. So the corresponding phrases and then the vocabularies are right there if you want to take. This will be appear in your first paragraph, so it's also underlined there. <coughs> so please remember these words. Because the first paragraph, of course, the title of this article is about the Zika Ground Zero, the origin of the Zika virus, and I mean, the outbreak, the place where this, this virus is taking place very seriously, is in Brazil. So it says, the subtitle is, Brazil is the front line. It's, it, uh, it's it's compare, it compares it to a battleground, so Brazil is in the front line of the global battle on the debilitating disease. So this will weaken you. This is a disease, okay? And of course, this article appeared around 2016, around April. So it happened this year, but it's a lot earlier in the spring, okay? This article when it appears. So it reads, the World Health Okay, that's how I have an old here actually, so I can have a deep one. Zika Ground Zero. Brazil is the front line of the global battle on the debilitating disease. The World Health Organization now says Zika virus is spreading explosively around the Americas and that the alarm and the level of alarm is extremely high. The organization says it will hold an emergency meeting on the virus on Monday. Now, this is the scope of the outbreak right now. Okay, the World Health Organization, we already know it's a very important organization because it monitors uh, all kinds of disease around the world globally. So everything that's been released from the WHO in short, WHO, you know that, right? It's very important, it's very official, okay? So it says, the virus is spreading explosively around America and the alarm, and the level of alarm is extremely high, so is it serious? According to WHO, is it serious? It is serious, it's very serious. And then the organization you are holding emergency meeting on the virus on Monday, okay? So it tells us the background of the seriousness of the, of the virus, and they need immediate measures to conquer it, okay? So that's the first paragraph. How about the second? So this is, i show you also this one. So this is a, a picture 
and how the Zika virus might affect you or how it spreads itself. Boy. Okay, so it's been transmitted by mosquito bites. Of course, we know that. Okay, so it's been it will be transmitted by mosquito bites. So once you've been bitten, it's like dengue fever. It's like all kinds of fever. You'll be contracted with this kind of virus. And then it says, according to statistics, one in five people you will be infected and you will become ill. So every one in five people will be, trans if you are transmitted with this disease, you'll be infected and you'll become ill, you'll be sick. And the symptom, that's how you know you got the virus is between two to seven days, normally one well, last two to seven days. So, okay, and uh, Mosquitoes known to transmit the virus are not present in Canada. <laughs> okay, I think this is done by the Canadians. Okay, no treatment or vaccine is available, so that's why it's so serious. It's like AIDS, but AIDS have promised now. I think people are finding cures for AIDS nowadays, recently, I think. But for this virus, there is still no available vaccine or or treatments. So once you get it, you get it. Okay. And then the symptoms are, if you have those symptoms, maybe you should go to a doctor, such as fever, rash, that's redness of the skin, and joint pain, conjunctivitis, conjunct red eyes, and so on. So just like a fever or any kind of pain. So. The illness is usually mild and death is rare. Thank goodness, it's not deadly, but that's why they only alert the pregnant woman or those who are about to get pregnant to delay such a, or, or to, to prevent you from traveling to such places that's highly alert, on alert of the virus Zika, okay? So next one, the keyword on the second paragraph, we have outbreak, which is very important. Like everybody, outbreak. 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 Next one, transmission. Transmission. Disease. Disease. Infect. Infect. Infected. 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 Born. Born. Such as airborne, waterborne, <laughs> something born. That's how the virus uh, transmit themselves, okay? The measure. Okay, this one is a special term, it's called microcephaly. Microcephaly. Yeah, that's well that's what happened when the mother caught this disease and the baby will become microcephaly. Okay? The next one we already encountered that debilitating. The ground zero. Because we'll encounter this phrase again. Okay, so the next two paragraphs that's here then. Emergency meeting on the virus on Monday. Now, this is the scope of the outbreak right now. These countries in red have reported active transmission of the disease. Meanwhile, the countries in yellow have reported cases of the Zika virus, but all were from travelers returning from infected areas. Now, this mosquito borne disease has been linked to microcephaly. It causes brain damage. Now, thousands of babies were born with this debilitating condition in Brazil, the ground zero of the Zika outbreak. And Shasta Darlington met with some of the mothers. She was so excited. Okay, have this slide on the second and third paragraph. Now, this is the scope of the outbreak right now. So actually, of course, the picture is not here, but the scope is vast, okay? The scope is globally. This is the scope of the virus. Right now, the country have re report active, uh, act reported active transmission. So you probably already heard that in America, that's recent, they have the outbreak in Florida or something, right? It's still outbreak. It's still happening of the disease. So that's the transmission. Meanwhile, the country in yellow have reported cases of the Zika virus, but all were from travelers returning from infected areas. So let's pay attention to that. The reason why it becomes transmitted because there are travelers 
who return from their home from infected areas. So that's how it became out of control. Because people travel to infected areas and then return home with the disease. And then of course the mosquito will bite the, those person who already contracted with the disease and then spread it. It's out spray. Just like a it's just like a film. Many films already done such a, a thing. So now he reads this mosquito mosquito born, so it's transmitted by mosquitoes. Disease have been linked to microcephaly, which will make your head, not your head, your baby's head smaller than usual, than normal, which is like an alien of sorts. It causes brain damage, not just the, just, not just the size, but it will cause actual brain damage, okay? Now thousands of babies were born with this debilitating condition, so it's already a fact that a, a more than thousands, thousands of babies already got this small head disease called microcephaly, okay? And the ground zero of the Zika outbreak is in Brazil. <laughs> so that's why it becomes so serious, because Brazil is the ground zero of the Zika virus, okay? And uh, so what follows is we'll see some evidence, some cases of the mothers who suffer from this disease, whose babies suffer from this disease. So let's continue with a, this is called a case study, okay? So this is what happened. That's a normal size, right? That's a normal size. But if you got microcephaly, your head become not your head, your baby's head will become a lot smaller. And of course, it's not just the size, it's about damaging the brain. So let's listen, have a listen. Lisa Darlington met with some of the mothers. She was so excited, but the birth of her second child left Rafaela Oliveira more alone than she could have imagined. At three months, Luis Felipe has a big appetite just like her first baby, but he was born with a small head and brain damage, microcephaly. So that's already says it all, okay? So, originally it, it, the baby looks all normal with a big appetite like the, the other baby, but actually he was born with a small head so that's a characteristic, small headness, and also brain damage. That's the most, most damaging part with the brain damage, which is called microcephaly. That's a terminology you need to remember in connection with Zika, okay? Microcephaly. Okay, next we are going to go through the other paragraph containing such keywords. So those are, these words are very important, I think, keywords. So, repeat after me. Contagious. Contagious. Also, we already have influenza. Recently, we have influenza. It's also contagious. And now the vaccine is free for all. So if possible, please go take them. <laughs> because it's very serious and a lot of some people are already killed by it, okay? So, contagious, detect, detect, disorder, physical therapy. Okay, so what we have in the following paragraph, that's listen. Do you need still any more time? Can we move on? Yes? People here react like he's got some contagious disease, she says. People look at him when we are in the street. There was no warning. Doctors only detected the disorder after Luis Felipe was born. What gives me strength is the love I feel for him, she says. Luis Felipe will need to be cared for his entire life. So she's doing this three times a week right now, taking her son to physical therapy. And yet she goes back to work in March. It's not clear how she's gonna do this. And she's the only person in her family who has a job. So. Well, this explains itself, the aftermath, after the baby have this disease, then the baby needs to be taken care of all his or her life. So that's why people 
doesn't like to be contracted with this kind of virus. Okay, it's, it will be paralyzed, paralyzed you forever. So that's the aftermath with this disorder. But I think we can move on. Now you know the seriousness of this Zika virus. If you got them, then what will happen to you? Okay, so moving on, we have another one. Financial burden, everybody. Financial burden. Financial burden. The next keyword is jab. Jab, okay. So you need to be jabbed if you don't want to cut, to be caught influenza. So go to the clinics or the hospitals and get jabbed with the vaccine as soon as possible. So the next paragraph. Here in the city of Pernambuco, we've seen the heartache and the financial burden this is putting on families. More than 4,000 cases of newborn microcephaly have been reported in Brazil since Zika was detected less than a year ago. A third of them are here, where babies and moms face endless jabs and tests. Doctor... So do you think this is serious in Brazil? Consider its size. It's a huge country, but however, how many babies already got this virus? 4,000. Do you think it's a small number? Do you think it's a small number? 4,000? No, it's not. I don't think it's a small number. It, and we're talking about newborns. Newborns, there are already 4,000 cases, confirmed cases of microcyphaly for the newborns. And it was detected less than a year ago. So this is the statistic I put together only for a year, a year. For the entire year, there are 4,000 babies only in Brazil that caught this virus. So imagine it. And of course, they try to they try to get the vaccine and all kind of tests. But as we already know, there is no cure. As we already know, there is no cure for this virus, right? Earlier on, we already know that. So moving on. Moving on, we have research findings. <laughs> we'll move on to the, what, what they found in the research. So here are the key words. Uh, repeat after me, yellow fever. Yeah. Dengue. Dengue. So that's what we know about dengue fever, which is epidemic here as well in, in Asia. Vaccine. vaccine. So it's important to take vaccines if we have the um, vaccine. So go take them. <laughs> OK, the next paragraph. So those are the research findings. So let's see what, let's hear what they have found. Angela Hocha is one of the first to make the link between Zika and microcephaly. These babies have brain damage to differing degrees, which means inserting this generation into a society is going to be very complicated, she says. Research continues to establish a cause and effect with the Zika virus, spread by the same mosquitoes that transmit yellow fever and dengue. There's no vaccine, no cure, which means the Aedes aegypti mosquito is public enemy number one. So, the similarity between Zika and dengue and yellow fever is because they are all mosquito born. So they have all been transmitted by even aegypti mosquito, just like the IG right? So that's why it's a public enemy number one. Wow, well, Okay, public enemy, number one, so be fearful. Again, it confirms there is no vaccine, there is no cure. No vaccine, no cure, so don't catch them. Okay, so next one, next slide, we have opinions. So it's important to know what others think about this virus, okay? So keywords, again, prevention. Stagnant water. Stagnant water. Breeding ground. Breeding ground. The health ministry. The health ministry. Okay, so what we found here is several opinions. Okay, so let's have a listen. All the effort has been put on having, has been put on prevention by having the population of mosquitoes under control. Two hundred. So one of the, it's based on the health secretary. Okay, so it's one of the authority. He says every effort has been put on prevention. Okay, prevent uh, this 
virus from spreading. Okay. Next opinion we have. 2,000 troops now going door to door, eliminating the stagnant water that serves as the mosquito's breeding ground and educating families. I mean, this is referring to the Brazil, the, uh, the condition in Brazil, only in Brazil, okay? So troops are military troops. So 200,000, that's a lot of troops, okay? A lot of units are going from door to door, that's going to every household, trying to eliminate the stagnant water where, where the mosquitoes were born, okay? And try to eliminate the possibility of transmitting the disease because that's the breeding ground, okay? Okay, next one we have. The health ministry admits it's been losing the war against the mosquito and mothers-to-be across Brazil see their moment of hope turned into a moment of unbelievable anguish. So according to the office or the officials, the health ministry, it's a losing battle already. So this this article appeared in April. But then you know the controversy goes because what happened in the summer last uh, this year is very important because there is a very important Olympic Games, do you remember? Where is he held? Where was he held? In Brazil, which city? Rio, has it stopped? Has Zika stopped Olympics from happening? No, it ha haven't, but it also has a lot of controversy because a lot of people are arguing for and against either it should be canceled or not, which will be our question for debate later and for you to express later, later okay? So think about the, the, the uh, this is what you know, local acquired cases of virus isolations and also what's that, the data. So those are affected, already affected areas of the Zika virus, which is a lot, right? This is based on Wikipedia. So based on the article we read, we know the seriousness, we know it's out of control, we know there's no vaccine, there's no and it's a losing battle, that means we, we, we hardly can keep it under control. So, based on the information we have so far, if we go back to prior to the, uh, the actual, the, if we go back to deciding if we should go to the Olympics or have Olympic hosted by Brazil's, uh, by, by real. Would you think it's appropriate to have the Olympic go as it planned or not? Or should it be cancelled? That's the question I would like you to think about now. Based on what you know so far, okay? So, I, yeah, I want to do something before and after. So please go to our discussion forum. So here it is. Our ninth topic for discussion. Please respond to this. Are you for or against canceling the Olympic during the Zika outbreak? And please specify your reasons. I think I could do this twice. Before I give you some other news and after I give you some other news. Piece, pieces of news. So spend some five minutes to think about this because this has been a controversial when they decide to go ahead and have the Olympics or not during that time, around July, August. So think about it. And think about your reason. Why would you go for or against it? Any questions so far?